So let's go back to my Rhino screen. And these are my geometries. And what I'll be using is basically I'll be using scale component. Okay, I'll be using scale component. And these are the geometries that I want to scale. And obviously their center is 0 0.000, but I can select their center by their area. So if I put this here, you see they're all being scaled by their centers. However, what I wanted to do is basically I wanted to be, okay, you know how you can visualize this, but we don't need to see them now because there are a bunch of things going on. So what I can do here is maybe just to put a factor like 0.5 is here. So how I can put a graph mapper here, I would be doing the same similar thing for having this range component and having it here. Then pulling out a graph mapper. Okay. And this graph mapper this time needed to be like, I don't know, like let's say conic. And I'm not using remap because, or this time I'll be using remap because if I don't use remap, this value is going to be changing 0 to 1. 0 meaning it's going to remove what we are doing. But I wanted to say my minimum scale value should be 0 0.50. And um, my largest scale is 1.25 let's say okay so this is the range that i wanted to play around with so this is going to be my factor now so what i see as you can see here what i'm seeing i'm seeing that things are going like things are going going really like large towards the end but we change this graph type to um this guy again you see that towards starting from starting from the bottom going up why do we see everything here so you see that from bottom to top it goes up and down up and down up and down or what we can do here is we can grab a sign kind of an organization in which we see something as such with the scale we can do the other way around too like this we can really have really minor changes and you know what like this is basically the uh, scale control or size control see size control And when we change something here, they're all being changed, right? When we change this angle, rotations on Y, Z, or rotations on X, Y, or even like uneven subdivision, we are still following the, all the same procedure to come up with. And by using this, we can change the scale. Obviously, we can change the scale in different directions but i'm not going to go in that detail we can use scale and u2 change um or like uh, expand it or like stretch it on this direction stretch it on the other direction but it's a good point to pause things in the next video we'll plot some information on our profiles and then we'll love that